Yo, a couple days ago, maybe even just yesterday, I was scrolling through Twitter and one of my boys tagged me in a Justin Bieber announcement for his world tour. And apparently, you know, he's he's obviously sick. He's been dealing with some kind of like syndrome that he's been battling all year. Left half his face paralyzed. It's a whole thing that we already know. We all want him to get better on so on and so forth. The reason that I'm making this video, though, is the uproar and just like the total the total lack of like not reading the room of his fan of some of his fans. This announcement was him saying earlier this year, I went on about public health with whatever the name of the syndrome is. I've been trying, I've been consulting with doctors uh, this past week and performed at rock and Rio gave everything getting off stage. I was super exhausted. Um, and I don't, you know, like to the point where he has to feel like he has to take a break from the tour to focus on his health as a fan, you would think, okay, yo, I mean, if you do not feel comfortable out there, get the rest that you need, come back and finish the tour. But that was not the sentiment of some of the people under this fucking post, bro. The very first one. So you cancel the tour that millions of people have been waiting for you and all you do is post a stupid, useless picture everywhere. Give me my refund. Hope you get better, but I'm so disappointed because this isn't the way you should treat your fans. If we're talking about the way that he posted, his face is half paralyzed or was. He's not gonna make a video. It's always going to be a written post. It's always good. The weekend did the same thing when his voice went out, when COVID denied the de delayed the tour. And whenever what happened most recently, oh, the Toronto thing where they had no they had no systems. The entire fucking Canada went down, supposedly. Like, what do you expect him to do? You expect him to go up there and because you're disappointed, you expect him to go up there in detrimental health. It's not even like detrimental mental health, which is already a good enough reason and with everybody trying to like destigmatize mental health. That alone would be a good enough reason. But this is literal physical health, like not something that you can just push through, quote unquote. So if you don't like the wording of the message, that's one thing. But if you if you are saying you're disappointing your fans by taking care of your own health, bro, it's fucking terrible. And that's she's not the only one that's like that. Someone said, bro, this ain't it. And then the person rep replied, it is grow up. He owes you nothing. And I just think I come to the conclusion that fans are just fucking entitled, bro. And I always see like, oh, we flew halfway around the world to go and see you. And then you cancel last minute like this. You think it is his. Do you think he wants to cancel the tour? Artists make most of their money on tour and merch from that tour. You think he wants to cancel these shows? And even if it wasn't for the money, you think he wants to let fans down? This is his entire, this is what he does. Look right here, check it out. A lot of people made huge effort buying tickets and spending money they shouldn't to watch your show and put the money on your pocket. Okay, well, right out the gate, be more financially responsible. If you can't afford to fucking go to the concert, don't. With so little time left for the days, you should not have done that. I'm assuming this person is broken ass English. This is a disrespectful position with the fans. No comment about new date. Now that's understandable. I will say like there's no comment about new date. There's nothing about you're going to be issued refunds. This but he had they haven't had time to make that decision. He's got to go see doctors. He's got to go and talk with his team, his PR, his management and see what the best course of action is. It's not like he walked off stage and was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm keeping all their money. They're going to tell you. They're going to tell you if you're getting another date. They're going to tell you if you're getting a refund. But even if he did offer a refund, people would be up in arms about that. The weekend off offered a refund after his tour was canceled because of the pandemic and people were pissed. People were pissed. The weekend loses his voice, literally cannot perform in the first song of his of one of the last shows of the tour. He cannot perform. He has no fucking voice. And people are like, you, this is way last minute. I cannot believe you would leave your ha fans hanging out to dry. What the fuck do you want him to do? He goes out there and lip syncs. People are like, you should have just lip synced the whole show. He's not that type of performer. He's not a dancer. He is a singer. Michael Jackson could get away with lip syncing because there was a whole fucking performance that went along with it. He is not. He is a singer. If he goes up there and lip syncs without telling anybody and people catch on, that's the end of his career. If he goes up there and tells people that they're lip syncing, he's lip syncing because he has no voice. People are going to be pissed. It's literally a lose lose situation. Like what the fuck? As a fan, you take mad inherent risk. This guy, these guys are not robots. They are bound to get sick. They're bound to lose their voice. In all actuality, I'm surprised more shows don't get canceled because the artist does get sick. And with Justin Bieber, it's not like he had a fucking cold. 
the half of the dude's face is paralyzed. Probably not anymore, but that's that, that was how severe it was at the beginning. You take inherent risk when you decide to fly fucking cross country or cross fucking globe to go see an artist. There is always going to be that risky chance that the shit is going to be canceled because of something that is out of the artist's control. And you're going to get mad at the artist for that? Bro, people are just fucking entitled. I hate it. I hate it so much here. Like, just be a fucking decent human being. Be a decent human being and be like, oh, shit. He obviously feels bad enough to cancel a worldwide tour or postpone. Like, he didn't, he didn't just wake up with a tickle in his throat and was like, ah, fuck. I think we got to cancel the rest of the tour. Do you realize how bad something has to be for a performer, a born performer, to cancel on his fans last minute like that? Does that not like strike in your mind like, ooh, that is very last minute. That is very no notice whatsoever. Maybe it's pretty bad. Okay, Justin. Yeah, I'm disappointed because I, I, I wanted to go see this concert. Okay, Abel. Yeah, I was disappointed because I drove five hours to come see you, but some shit happened and... The concert can't go on. No one put a gun to your head and said, pay $3,000 in tickets and hotels and expenses to go watch this two hour concert. Like that didn't fucking happen. You made that on your own volition. Shit goes wrong sometimes. So say la vie. Just have a little bit more fucking compassion for your fellow human being. Yeah, they're multi millionaires. Not even multi like one, two, three. These people have hundreds of hundreds of millions of dollars but they are still human. The money doesn't stop you from getting cancer. The money doesn't just automatically re unparalyze your face. Death waits for no one. Health waits for no one. Time waits for no one. Doesn't matter how much, how much fucking money you have. Stop putting these people on a godlike pedestal. These people are still human beings. Have some fucking compassion for your fellow human being and have some patience. I'm sure Justin within the week will come out and be like, oh, I actually can't go on with the tour. Here's your refund. And then when you get your refund, you're going to be fucking pissed. Or if we can go on with the tour and he's like, doctor said I got to take six months off. You're not getting a refund. Oh, we're not getting a refund. I, I, what the fuck is this? Oh, you know what? Tour is going to go on. But be, but because I have to wait six weeks, I'm going to give you a refund. And then you have to rebuy your ticket. Oh, well, I already secured those tickets. Why, why are you not just holding my ticket with my It's a fucking lose-lose, bro. Stop being so entitled. God damn.